That first game in the next series is a game that you might be able to steal early. Their mindset in this game, Isaiah, I think is going to be vitally important. Yes, it is. And when we talked to Dave Cowens, he told us that they'll probably use this game one as a game to experiment with because they didn't really get enough time. Rodman backpedaling against Mason. Rice, head fake, jumper, got it. Great sign for Charlotte. You're going to see Anthony Mason initiate the offense. Spinning, shooting over Wesley, and there's his first basket. Jordan is so tough with his back to the basket. You can't blow too many of them. Here's Harper in the lane. Got a piece of it. And setting people up for layups. Rice in the lane. The Bulls and the crowd thought he traveled. Wesley cans the three. Wesley from Devots around Pippen into the lane. Rice, three on the 24. Had to force it on the run, and Michael got a piece of it. Harper's open. Michael takes it himself, and Wesley fouled him. He fouled him out on the perimeter to stop Jordan from getting one of those electrifying dunks that could ignite the crowd and ignite his teammates. Wesley did the smart thing right there. Gets both a rebound and a basket. Rice, baseline jumper, is there for him. You can see the Bulls' philosophy, though, Bob. They're running at Glenn Rice, chasing him off the shot, making him put the ball out on the floor. Three seconds. Three seconds. Michael for three. That's better. What happens when you give up those multiple shots, though? The Bulls are one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league, and although they're shooting a poor percentage right now, the offensive rebounds are getting the extra, extra shots to them. Patient to shoot it. That wide open, he will. Tough shot. How about the patience of Glenn Rice? Took his time, waited for the screen, squared up on the shot, nailed it. It's two shots in a row that he's made where he's been extremely patient on his jump shot with the pump face. Three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. Hit one against Fields with the hook over. Curtis Jordan. Michael on the drive. Had it knocked away, and he was fouled. Jordan, who practically lived at the line in the New Jersey series. Michael makes them both. DJ Armstrong's three. Doesn't go. Loose ball battle. Diving for it is Curry, but as he tries to save it, it's in Michael's hands. Armstrong sprints back and intercepts the pass by 15. Jordan to the baseline for the slam. Right on cue, Isaiah. Take it to the hoop, Michael. Now, the key to this surge is Michael's back cut. He gets it from Dennis Rodman, and he fakes like he's going to the middle and goes baseline. The dunk ignites the crowd. Watch him fake. Gives him the foot fake. Goes baseline. Michael from Rodman. Had to change it. Hit it. Coming to the line. Same play on the right side of the court. They ran it on the left side of the court. Now Rodman and Jordan come back and run the same exact play on the right side of the court. You can see what happened. Michael missed five of his first seven shots, and Isaiah said look for him to go to the basket. A whistle from Bill Oaks and a Chicago foul. Watch Tony now move on this screen. Chases it down. Off the glass, and the Bulls are in front. I, I watch Michael Jordan. Watch the activity of Jordan. He catches it and he drives. He knows that Curry can't stay with him. And he passes it. Now watch as he works to get into the post because he senses that he has a liability in Curry. Well, Charlotte really needs Del Curry to loosen that up from the outside. He's such a beautiful shooter. Jordan answers at the other end. Chuck Daly telling me to look out for this kid because he thought he would be a very good pro. Jordan's turnaround in the lane is there. Michael's in rhythm right now. Rice glances at the clock inside five seconds. Glenn Rice lunging from the corner, beats the buzzer but misses. Charlotte led at one point by 15. Michael, after a slow start, heating up in the second quarter, conferring, decide that that's what happened. Here comes Jordan. Banks it too hard. Rodman trying to keep it alive. And finally, Rice tumbles out of the pack in possession of the ball. I think somebody fell into his leg. We'll have to see, but watch here. Oh, right there you can see Glenn Rice fell down on Michael's right leg and looked like he tweaked his knee a little bit. 
there's again another look at that. Michael looked like he had a layup, just fumbled it. Goes back for the ball, and there's where Glenn Rice falls on his leg. Well, you can really get injured like that. Roddy and Anthony Mason, they're really not shot blockers. Rice got by Pippen, banks it in. See, I like this. They went two possessions in a row to Vladi, got nothing. This time, Glenn Rice, the primary guy, and he gets the Michael against Phils, who fouled him. So just keep your cool. See, interestingly enough. And the thing that made that play so successful is Dennis Rodman ran the court and put Vladi in a very difficult position. Maybe Glenn Rice is beginning to find the range. The Hornets can only hope so. When you look at Glenn Rice, watch him as he moves without the basketball. He sets Scottie Pippen up, then he has the patience to take the little pump fake and then take his shot. Jordan, got it, plus one. How quickly did he shake off the banged up knee? Michael completes the three-point play. And Rice, an 85% free throw shooter, hits the technical. For a moment that he was finding the range, but he's missed his last couple. But he steps in here defensively. Still Chicago by five. Jordan makes it seven. He wouldn't barge through it, it appears. After the timeout, it's Rice. Missing, but he was fouled. More good looks than you might have expected. This is the Bulls, and you give them that championship edge. Jordan behind the back against Phil, spinning, showing him everything. And he's fouled, he'll shoot two. Had a chance for the three-point play, but it wouldn't go. How about Michael Jordan right there? He wanted it inside. One more for Michael. This is Randy bringing the dribble out of the backcourt. Michael around the Rodman screen and foul. Clear path to the basket, and then it's too late. They're having to foul him. Here's Burrell driving baseline, dishing it back out, but it's picked off by B.J. Armstrong. Charlotte with numbers. Armstrong to Rice, who hits the layup. And it's a five-point game. Shoot, put B.J. in a very difficult position there. Michael to the hoop. He was fouled. Watch as he fakes him left. Curry goes hard for the fake. Falls, and Jordan floats to the basket. Four, two more free throws at the line. Look at the fake. Michael Jordan, you have to honor every single fake. Then t loses it to Longo. Michael comes back. Around Curry. Well, I don't like that matchup, Del Curry on Michael Jordan. I don't think Del Curry likes it much either. Well, he gave him the same fake and he bit on it again. He gave him the left fake and came back right, and Del Curry bit on the same fake. Curry has had his problems defensively. You see, every time that Curry has guarded Jordan, it's four for six, got 12 points on him. So they take Curry out of the game. Here is Rice again. He hits that one, which brings him to 33% for the game. The first game of the series against Atlanta. He can win a game all by himself. Here's Pippen. Hits the fadeaway jump. He has 20. How about the intelligence of the Bulls to exploit the mismatches every time they're on the court? Rice now with a three. Well, he has the capability of really getting hot. Michael from Pippen. Left hand. Oh, yeah. The ability to use your right hand and your left hand around the basket makes it so effective, makes it virtually impossible to stop. 33 for Michael. It's the Bulls' little pinch post play they run. You overplay the pass at the top, the beautiful back door. Takes a handoff from Longley. It's Michael, who scored 33, tries the reverse against New Jersey to draw the fouls and get his points at the line. He adds free throw percentage. And Glenn Rice has 22 points now. Rodman drew at least one technical in the first 13 postseason games. The Bulls played 16 of them in those 13 games with three ejections. Pippen, got it, regrettable. 
Rice bumped by Kukoc. Glenn Rice is shooting 51% and the loss is 37% today. So even though he now has 25 points, in truth, he's had a poor game. He may use this game just to see what happens. Look oh. at a beautiful dish by Jordan. In the next couple days, Bob has got to find a way to create some offense. 96 points in the regular season. They have 70 today. How about the pass again by Dennis Rodman? Who coach gets in on the act just before the game ends? Uh, Michael, a strange game by down by as many as 15 points. Finally, you find some rhythm and able to put this game away. Well, you got to give Charlotte credit. I mean, they, they've been playing. So they came in a lot more intensity than we did at the beginning of the game. We've been sitting out for a couple of days. It took us a quarter, maybe a quarter and a half to get ourselves back in the rhythm. And once we got in the rhythm, we kind of wore them down. You can tell they were a little bit fatigued. Uh, Mason really looked tired after a big game he had against, uh, against Atlanta. So, you know, we kind of kept the pressure on them. And they... They missed some big shots on the outside, so they got two days in between games. Expect them to come back with a lot more intensity. Before the game, you told me that you're a little leery of this team because you guys really weren't that familiar with them. Yeah, I mean, they haven't really been healthy all season long. I haven't had a chance to go against Fields as often as during the course of the season, and you know, right now they're still not healthy with uh, with Geiger out. But you know, we got our team back now, so you know, it's, it's a matter of just going out and get a feel for this team and you know, taking taking advantage in the, in the series. As a, after a game like this, you must feel a little bit more confident in this series well I think we got a, a better feel than, <laughs> than coming into the game I think we can go back and look at the films and see where we have to make adjustments and how we have to continue to improve as a team you know they're going to make adjustments after two days so I mean we have to be prepared for that all right congratulations on a good game we will see you next Sunday <laughs> right. back over to you Bob